and veneers, our friend Sam is on another misadventure. I'm the pilot of the plane that's supposed to come rescue him because he needs to be at the top of the mountain, but the problem is he's stuck and I can't find him. So we told Sam he needs to build a parachute to get himself down from the top of the mountain safely to the ground. So our job is to help him build that parachute. So we're gonna use the engineering design process for this. So as you STEM engineers know, first thing, we need to find the problem. We know we need to get him down safely from up high on a mountain and get him safely back down to earth. So the next thing you work with your team with on is to start planning solutions. What do you have in your house that you can make really three things? The parachute, so what helps to bring him down safely, the string that attaches to the parachute because he needs to be attached to it. But lastly, what's gonna help hold him in place to keep him safe without falling out? So I have some ideas here. I have a couple leftover things from my submarine challenge that I finished up last. So as my team, we gotta make a model. We have to look at the materials that we have and start really brainstorming what we can do. Unfortunately, a lot of people like to use coffee filters for their parachutes. I don't have that in my house, but that's okay because I thought of maybe some other ways we could make the parachute body from it. So I could take some paper because it is flexible like a parachute would need to be. I also had a couple leftover brown paper bags. So that might work. One of those two might work for the actual parachute body. The second thing is I need to think about how can the parachute itself be attached to something to hold him in place so he doesn't fall out? So I have a cups. Again, I have leftover cardboard. I've got a milk jug, which might be too big, but you can try it out. I also have some aluminum foil. So I'm thinking with my team, maybe we could build our parachute out of the paper and the cup could be where he safely stays inside, but then the second problem I have here is how do I attach the parachute to the cup? So I had some leftover string, I had some pipe cleaners, I have some bendy straws, and I found some leftover Christmas and birthday ribbon that I could use too. Scissors gonna be important. You can also use a hot glue gun to attach things together. I have tape. I have another set of tape. So as a team, the best option is going to be is really to just test out what you have, which is a really, really important step. As we know from the other challenges, the first design that we do usually doesn't work. And that's okay, because the more solutions we come up with, the better our model's going to become. So if I were to use these materials, I'd have to come, come up with a way of maybe cutting some holes because I need to put the string in. But if I cut wrong, oh, that's not gonna stay attached. These are ways for me to start thinking and communicating with my team, most importantly, reflecting and discussing on how we need to redesign our parachute to help bring our little guy down safely. These are just a few ideas. Again, you don't have to use the same materials I had in my house. Take a look around at your house. Go to the dollar store if you want to, or use one of the STEM kits that maybe your school provided for you. The best thing about this though, is the actual testing. Make sure you're doing this in a safe location. We don't want anybody getting hurt, so make sure you're not climbing up without parents permission or your adult. So. I'm excited to see what you all do. Don't forget to post on social media, on the PTA page, or with your school. Bye, guys. Have fun.